Hello everyone, uh, I'm making another follow-up video to our crack bridging video that I have linked in the description below. I think it's important not only just to see the process of what we do and how we do some of our techniques, uh, but also to see what these jobs look like after a period of time and use. Um, this is a job that had some pretty extensive cracking running through the slabs. So we're doing our prep here, um, jackhammering them down quite a bit to get all that loose deteriorated concrete out of those cracks, really opening them up to clean, porous, sound concrete. And then we're going to fill them in with our TF structural and use our crack bridging technique um, with this flexible mesh that you're seeing us applying here. <clears throat> and then, uh, yeah, after we lay down this mesh, and this is a real quick video here, we're not getting into a lot of details, but Again, I have videos linked in the description below that will show uh, more details about these processes if you're interested in any of those. But here we have uh, the pads totally prepped. We've bridged all our cracks um, with the flexible uh, mesh. And here we're doing the final skim coat application to this. So I was able to go back to this job. This is a little over a year later. And you can see um, as I get closer to the pad, I try and get as close as, as I can. It is quite dirty from all the use it's gotten. But these are the areas that we bridged all those big, uh, long cracks. And you can see nothing is reflecting through the material. So it's um, quite an effective process for going over cracks, especially when you're applying a very rigid, thin overlay, uh, which TF Structural is. It's, it's very rigid. It doesn't have flexibility. So by itself, it's not going to bridge over top of a, a four or six inch concrete slab and and glue it all together without cracking that's why you need to use a flexible type membrane um, to put over top of that crack so yeah there it is in in pretty close-up detail you can see none of the cracks are coming back so it's a quite effective technique um, this is at the same project just a different location here's another crack you can see how much concrete we take out of it anything loose or deteriorated you want to remove from the crack before you repair it with the TF structural, but same process here. You put down uh, the membrane and then apply a skim coat over top. And again, this is about a year later. You can see this, this one held up beautifully. Um, and here's another uh, uh, video of the actual process of putting down this membrane. Again, if you wanna see this in a bit more detail, uh, just check the, the videos in the description down below. We have a video totally dedicated to repairing cracks using this bridging technique. And this membrane can be found if you just search on Amazon for like a stucco uh, crack repair, a stucco mesh membrane, you'll find lots of different options that you can use. You're definitely not restricted to one one type of membrane or, or mesh tape. And there's that crack again about a year later. You can see how well the overlay is performing, not only in just uh, the application of the broom finish, but you can see how well that uh, mesh really helps prevent any cracks from coming through. So yeah, again, I, I hope that's helpful for you guys to see not only the application, but what some of these projects look like after a solid year of use and some winter and freeze thaw. I know I get a lot of comments about how this product holds up um, after time. So the more videos I can put out showing you and demonstrating the longevity of this material, the better. Take care.